Hey guys, or 134 here, and I've got another deck profile for you guys. This week at Locals, I ran Masked Heroes, and I ended up in top 8. Only decks I lost to were to Dark World, because every Dark World player main decks Gores and 2 Decrees when they have a full trap lineup. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, here's the deck lineup. I was relatively happy with it. I tried to be a little bit more serious when I made it this time, as opposed to my sillier Mascara deck that did well. But, uh, yeah, here's a deck. Obviously, you're running Stratos to search out your heroes, because he's amazing. Three E-Hero Neos Alias. Uh, obviously, there, it's Neos Alias. 19 Beater, Gem Spark, you know, reason why you're running Neos Alias. Running two E-Hero Bubble Man to special summon and help with my XEs. Plus it's water for mass change. One ocean, just to help me get back some of my uh, heroes from the graveyard, and it's a mass change target. I went with ocean over uh, ice edge and a third bubble man because I wanted a little bit more versatility, and ice edge really is not that relevant right now. Discarding a card to poke a back row is neat, but since there is not a lot of back row setting right now, just not that's not as good as ocean in my opinion. Plus he's really small. Uh, one snowman eater to pop some things. Then uh, got yourself the two effect failures to negate effects. Magic lineup. You got Reborn, Dark Hole, Heavy Storm, Book of Moon. Uh, your staples. Two MST for Spell and Trap Hate. Two Pot of Duality to uh, increase consistency. One Rota, and two E Emergency Calls to search out your heroes. Three Gemini Spark, pop things, draw a card, overall be a jerk. One Future Fusion, pretty much just to set up my graveyard and to draw MST Fire. Pretty much exactly what you should be using Future Fusion for. Set your graveyard up, draw fire. Three Miracle Fusions, Fuse, two Super Polys to steal things, and then three Mask Change to summon my Masked Heroes. Trap lineup is two TTs, two Warnings, and Solemn Judgment, and then two Hero Blasts to get my Neo Salius back to my hand. That's the main deck. Pretty simplistic. It's heroes. They don't. There's not too much crazy crap you can do. It's pretty obvious what your a lot of your main deck choices are. Extra deck. Got Cataster. Two Blade Armor Ninjas to uh, try to double attack for a game. One Utopia. One Hero Gaia. It's the Earth Omni Hero. Great Tornado, Wind on the Hero, Nova Master, Fire on the Hero, Two of the Shining because he's boss and he's the Light on the Hero, Swab Zero because it's really crazy, plus the Water on the Hero. It's really great when you mass change him into uh, Acid because your opponent's entire field explodes. Ab Zero is just really good. Master Hero Dion, you're running. Earths, well, you're, you have access to Earths, so why not? Plus his effect's good and he's pretty big. One Mass Hero Vapor to make himself indestructible. And then two Mass Hero Acids to pop the back row. Harpy's Filler Duster is good. Onto the side deck. Got yourself two Electric Viruses. Two DD Crows. Third effect failure. Two soul takers. Two skyscraper, two hero cities. I'm still bounced between this and the original skyscraper. They both have their advantages. Original skyscraper, you get over things. This one, you get back your things that died. I'm thinking next time I run a hero deck, I'm going to try the original skyscraper just to see how it works. 
two forbidden chalices and the gate effects give a little bit of a boost. One bottomless, one chain disc. Give you a little variety in getting rid of things. And two skull drains. So that's the deck. Uh, if you watched my Vanguard video, I this will be new, uh, not won't be news to you. But I will not be here for the next two weeks. Yeah, two weeks, because I'll be in Germany. So I'll see you guys when I get back. Anyways, or one through four, signing out.